Welcome all of you to our Python interview hack. Most of the time when you face some interview, basically maybe as a Python developer, as a data analyst or as a data scientist, you may have to work with some machine test. You may have to give some answers to a very small questions in basically writing the code on that and a running code. Sometimes what happens, the questions are tricky, may look very simple, but to develop them may consume a lot of time. So we are providing a lot of hacks for the questions which are commonly used in the industry. So you can go through all of them one by one and be ready for any kind of question for your interview. So here is our first hack, the least hack, where the question is, the list is there which contains a number of elements or the items. And as an output, we want a dictionary which should count the frequency of this appearance of these atoms. Basically, the dog appears five times here. You can see one, two, three, four, five. The pencil appears two times, pens one, apple one, and pear three. So basically, we need to count how many times a uh, element or for our case, a word appear. Again, you don't think that this is the only problem. You can change this problem anyway. It means you can have one, two, three, four, five as the digits to count. You can have this word. You can have any other word. But the output which we want is a dictionary. So we have to develop this algorithm. And for uh, developing any algorithm, you have to go step by step. If you are very new to Python, just go ahead with some of the tutorials which are provided on our uh, website also and also on our YouTube channel as Programming Quran with Python. So you will get ready with the programming concept along with the Python. So this is not the tutorial or this is not a video for explaining how Python works. Considering you have done the Python course, we are focusing on how a problem will be solved. So the input and output is very much clear. So let's start the program by just looping through the list and we know we can take one atom at a time from the list because for loop we can write directly no need to think from array point of view because that is the mind we have when we come from the uh, c java background okay so then we use the index and then do the stuff don't do that you can do it directly so it is for atom in l print atom and one by one atom is printed so what i have done here nothing i have just brought up all the elements one by one once I all the elements which you can see here, the thing is how I will have this dictionary. So to have the idea of dictionary, what I have done, I have created one dummy dictionary here. So you just look at the code. This is a dummy dictionary with the name dummy underscore D. Let us consider it already has two elements. So basically elements in a dictionary is what? A key value pair. So a key value pair with the pair four and dog three. Uh, intentionally, I am taking this from the same names which we are having. Okay, so it will be easy to combine this code together because we have to need to combine it, then we will have a bigger problem to solve. Okay, so in this case, if you see what we have is a dummy with pair 4 and doc 3 as an value. So consider these are the counts available. Now, once we have this, uh, what we are want to see. There is a way of having a simple membership thing we can do with the list and also with the dictionary. So in dictionaries, the member things works in what? It just checks if that element is present in a dictionary in specifically key. Because in membership for list, element wise I can check. But in dictionary, it will only check the key. So I need to check if that key is there. Okay, so the way of doing that. Suppose I have one atom as pencil where I have a string and I can check if that pencil is present in this dictionary. So obviously pencil is not present as a key. Again, I am expressing that it is a key check. Okay, it is not a value check. So if you see here, if atom is in dummy D, I will print the atom is present in my dictionary. Else I will print the atom is not present. It is a simple if else block. Why I am doing that? What happens if you go back to our problem statement, which we want to solve, the case we have to solve is if that uh, element like the dog, pencil, if it is present or not in dictionary, because we will start our dictionary as a blank, as an empty list, and then one by one elements we will add. So since we are going to do like that, it has to be taken one by one, stating if that 
key is present or not and that's why we are focusing on that thing first so the pencil which we have started is not present okay and hence it is says pencil is not present in the meeting so basically if it is not present what is our requirement is if a new element new word if i found out i need to add it immediately in my dictionary so how an element can be added into dictionary simply it is the thing the dictionary which element you want to add pencil with the count one because that will be our first occurrence in list everything we are focusing on that list because that is our ultimate aim okay it is not other things are there but it is ultimate aim is how to add how to increase the count how to count the frequencies of the words in the list which is present okay so that thing we have to see here so basically what we do we add it by simple statement dummy d that is our dictionary atom which is uh, the atom which we know currently the atom is pencil is equal to 1 so once i do that you check the code that we have the peer and dog as it is the pencil is the new key value added into my dictionary so that is the way the element or the key value can be added into a dictionary and that format you should always know because that is the only way i can add or i can update anything present in the dictionary now we'll look at the second case the second case talk about a uh, atom which is dog so for our case we see dog is already there so obviously our if loop if i run it it will check and it will say atom that is dog is present in dummy d yes it is present so what that means if i get another word dog what should i do i should increase whatever the count present in my code to plus 1 that is i should add 1 to that count how it is possible it can be done as you can see is dummy d atom which is dummy d dog is equal to dummy d atom again dummy d dog plus 1 now this is something tricky thing what happens here dummy d atom which will be the previous one that is 3 and then plus 1 so that is 4 where it is added again dummy d dog so basically what i am doing in dog i am adding one element okay and that is the way the count of dog has increased so if i print my dummy d what happens the four count is done so you can see if the atom is not present i have to add it with the count one and if the atom is present whatever the count we have we have to add one to it so the count should increase by one so that is the thing we have tried here now once we tried let's combine this code in bit and pieces into a single code where if the element is present in the dictionary the count has to be increased by one and if the element is not present the element or the word along with the one count we have to add here so let us see how we can do that so i have used another word say apple now apple is not present here and i have combined the if else with the statements we just explored so how we explore that if the atom is present we will increase the atom uh, count by one and if the atom is not present we will have a new entry of key value with the count one so that is the combination i have created now once i create that combination for the apple apple is in dummy d no so it will fall down to else and else it is says apple is not present in d at the same time the entry will be made at this place after writing print after writing print the entry is made and hence i have the apple is equal to 1 so that is the case when the element is not present in the dictionary what about element present in the dictionary so that is the pr i have because the pr already have the four count so what supposed to be there the count has to be increased by 1 plus 1 and that really happens here so here i have if atom in dummy d yes it is there so pr is present in dummy d and hence the dummy d pr is equal to dummy d pr plus 1 and hence you will see the count which was supposed to be 4 has to be increased to 5 because there is a new one so at this step what we have done we have one dictionary with some elements in that and whenever any element or specifically i will say instead of element any key is not present we are adding it with the value 
and if any key is already present we are increasing its value basically it is a frequency a count by one so that are the two things we have done in our if and else statement now this whole thing we have to put it for what all the list element which we are looking one by one so for each element coming from the list i will check if it is present in dictionary yes increase the count by one if it is not present in the dictionary add a new key value pair with the new word with the count one so these are the if else if else for each element of the list and let us see how i have done in the code so to start with we need a dictionary which should be blank because we are going to start with the blank dictionary so that's why this statement is also important okay you can write like this or you can write like b is equal to dict and bracket now let's have the complete code what i have done so the complete code i have just copy pasted again so you will get the idea so here is the list which contains all the elements we want a dictionary which is empty which will be created once we do our stuff and then our for loop starts so here inside the for loop i have we have the printing why i have kept inside so that you can understand it so in this code what happens the list is there dictionary is empty and the for loop starts which brings one by one element which we have seen in the code previously so here i have the first atom dog obviously the dictionary is empty so atom is in d no so i will directly fall down to else part and i will add d of dog is equal to 1 and since i have kept this print inside the for loop each time once one by one element is added you will see actually yes the things are happening like that so what happens here if you see at the first step dog with the one count is added so that is the part one next we have the pencil again it is not present so pencil is added and similarly the fence is added so up to these three points or the three atoms from the list we have just the addition of key with its value 1 so addition of key with its value 1 1 1 and three elements has been added moving forward what happens is the dog which is the word already present appears and we fall down to this line where we increase the count which was 1 2 2 and you will see the dog 2 when uh, pencil 1 pens 1 is appearing so that means we have counted the occurrence of dog to word again and hence we have increased its frequency to 2 and that is the step will go on until we reach to the end of the list and you will see the output step by step we have been increasing the counts as per the availability so that is the desired output we want where we counted each words frequency what many times it appears in actual it may be the case you don't have to display all these thing you want only the dictionary as the output because that is the main aim so i have changed that print d inside to back of the for loop so it is outside of for loop now if i run this code do remember this code will also run in the same fashion nothing new is happening only the thing i am not printing that dictionary how it is increasing i am printing that dictionary directly showing yes that is the output we want okay and you can see how easily thinking step by step we can come up with the result which we can write so the result which we have written here are counting the frequencies of the word dog pencil pens apple pear the second thing if you see here the code is very generic generic means you change the list with anything you change the list with 1 2 3 4 5 you change the list with some other words so you change the list with a b c d e f g h still our code will work there is no hard coding so whenever you write any code in your machine test make sure there should not be any hard coding because in the first line when you see such kind of thing you can write directly if the atom is equal to dog add it if atom is equal to pencil add it but what happens if i have new things here okay so if i have new things here say a banana our code will not work so that should not be the case the case is 
you add anything into the list, my program will work and will give the output. So that are the things the people on the other side of your interview will look into it. So do have the idea correctly and then solve your problem this way. So this is the problem which we have solved where we have taken one list and then one by one element we have taken from list and once we get one by one element we have added it into the frequency so that i can count how many times each word comes and what is the count or the frequency of word hope you have enjoyed this there will be lot many things on this one by one so do connect with our channel do subscribe to our channel so it will be easy for you every time new video is published you will assign that you will see that and you will be ready for any kind of interview so do watch continuously the python interview hack thank you